We do welcome you back, and you are in for a treat because our next guest is a Tony and Emmy winning actor who has played over 100 films. Mm. TV roles. Not all of them great, though. <laughs> hey! I gotta say. I just told you I saw Chef again. Now, that was a but That was a good one. I've been oh. some good ones, too. Okay. Don't get me wrong. John Leguizano, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes. yes. He's part of Disney's animated film with Encanto. So good. To, you were just telling us that you used to work here in Times Square. I used to work at Kentucky Fried Chicken down the corner of 42nd Do 40 Deuce. Yeah, and look at you now. <laughs> look at you now, Thank baby. Thank God I've made it. No, no. <laughs> you have made it, and you can do it all. And you even got to live out being a rapper. I, I, I'm a closet rapper. I, I rap in the shower. I'd be like, brothers are riding me like a pony. I'm no phony. I'm the only real macro. So I'm not good, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously, I can't rap. But I was so glad I got the call from Lynn manuel saying, I wrote a rap for you in this animated movie. And I'm like, yo, I'm down. I'm down. Mm. Sign me <laughs> up to work with Lynn, who wrote, I guess, the masterpiece of our century, Hamilton. Yeah. I, mm. I was like, I, I was over the moon. Well, you're in another masterpiece, Encanto. Disney's 60th an, um, animated film, and it, it is set in Colombia, where you were born. Yeah, yeah. So how does it feel to be part of a film that represents your culture? Oh, man, this is, this is the highlight of my life, to see a whole Latinx cast in, 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 in Disney's 60th movie, because Disney is sort of the, the barometer of culture around mm -hmm. the world. If you're in a Disney movie, your people have made it. And here we have, you know, arepas, we, you, you see, like, all the little... Easter eggs like arepa con, con queso, buñuelos. Carlos Vives did uh, the uh, vallenato music that's, that's to, uh, our cultural music and cumbia. And uh, it's, it's just incredible. Let's show everybody. Yeah, let's see. Help me! You're very sweaty. <laughs> Uh, on, on the day after it uh, comes out as a whole family are going on mass. Do they give you feedback on your work? Okay. <laughs> your kids? You know, <laughs> your kids are the most honest uh, people in the world, and they give lots of feedback. You know, like, you know, Dad, you, that, that joke wasn't as funny, or, you know, you could have been a little more amusing. They'll, they'll <laughs> criticize me for this somehow. I, I made some mistake. It's, it's all good. <laughs> it's part of it. But yeah, you know, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. It's part of it. My kids, yeah. they don't... They it's like the humble too. pie you were talking yeah, about. Exactly. Yeah, eating a slice every, every day. But you've been in Moulin Rouge. You've been in 25 years since Romeo and Juliet. 25 years. They can't years. criticize those. But what, what are your fond, fondest memories, I guess, best way to say it, of those movies? Well, besides making it, I mean, I, I was with a, a posse that was so fun. Leo DiCaprio... I mean, he loves to party. <laughs> and we were all the right about the right age. We were partying all over Mexico. It was the, the wildest times I've ever had on a flick. He partied harder than I did at his age. <laughs> yeah, I didn't party that hard. <laughs> you know, you're talking about the Latinx community, your dedication to the Latinx community. You're trying to take it into new, new places as well. Tell us about this new comic, Phenom X. Mm. Well, you know... It's like we're the largest ethnic group in America, the oldest ethnic group in America, and we don't have a, a superhero. That's crazy when we have superheroes in everyday life. Half the Mets are Latinx. Uh, the, uh, uh, all of, uh, you know, the Astros, the, the, uh, half the MMA, Canelo, uh, AOC. I mean, we got great superheroes in the world. Where's our superhero in movies? So, mm. uh, you know, black and Latin co uh, communities they dump a lot of toxins there, and you know they 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 put pollutants in our communities. And I was wondering, instead of it making us sick, what if it gave us a superpower? What if it made us immune to everything? And uh, so that's how I created uh, Phenom X. This guy grows up in in Jackson Heights, and he's getting all these toxins, and now he's got this power, and the FBI wants him. So he's immune to everything. Yeah, he's immune to everything. Nothing can destroy him. Wow. Because he grew up, you know, in a, in America, in in a poor community where they dump all the toxins. Mm. Wow. But you wait, you, you, I flipped it. Yeah, I flipped that's it. Right. That's, that's right. the, brilliant. That's, that's ghetto nerd power right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard it put that way. That's one. John, thank you. Thank you for always keeping it real. Always. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Your talent. Oh my gosh. And Encanto hits theaters November 24th. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.